Hello, and I am using the 12w27 snapshot. I'm testing out some new features. Now, some of them aren't 100% new, might be last week's snapshot, but these are things I wanted to test, and I've only just got around to it. Now, first of all, as you can obviously see, the withers, the wither skeletons, uh, can equip armor just the same as a regular skeleton. But obviously, everything is scaled up by, I don't know, looks like about 10% to be honest because if you look carefully he's actually two and a half blocks tall he just two and a half I get a half slab I'm sure you get the point by now but he's the exact same height as that and a half slab of course he's wearing a pumpkin helmet so he's slightly taller but he's pretty much also if you put him in If you put him in a three-high room, he will fit and not suffocate, but he won't be able to see you. If I go in game mode zero, he can only see me when I'm... Oh crap, I'm poisoned. He'll only see me when I'm actually inside the block. Ah, damn it. Slimes! Go away! So if I go, he does see me, but he can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably bad, yeah. Okay, so now, see, he doesn't try and attack me, even though I'm, even though I'm in survival. He can't. He can look at me, but that's just the way the, the mobs are programmed. He won't be able to come and attack me. Whereas if I go like that, if I break this block, he then comes and tries to attack me. Which I found quite interesting, because I consider them to be two blocks high, but they're actually more than two blocks high. Oh, that's weird. He's not attacking me at all. So if I go... Damn slimes! Run out of blocks now? Okay. Anyway. Oh. Enough of that. But like I was saying, the weather can take carry armor. And he's more than two blocks high. Probably two and a quarter or two and a half. And um, he's now aggroed on me. Um, one thing I do want to test is whether poison from the wither and poison from the cave spider stack. Um, I have tried it before and I didn't think they stacked but I'm going to test it now. So I'm going to take a sword just to be careful. Game mode zero. Oh I need to eat. Actually no it's a good test. Um, one. Just give myself some potions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm wearing that stupid armor. Game mode one, game mode zero. Okay. Now, of course, I'm not gonna have my have my health regenerating, which will be a good test. So that's why I'm doing this. I stand here. Damn it! Oh. Okay, so that last attempt to try and poison myself with both the wither skeleton and the case spider failed. Not entirely sure why. Let's try again. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? If I give myself a couple of these, I'm going to trap them again. Um, give myself some potions again. Um, Alright, so if I just go and white that, white that dude, and then I get hit by this dude. No, it's only one poison at a time. 
doing half height each second. Hmm. Right, test again. Oops. Alright, let's do that once more. Hmm. Where's he gone? Yeah. Right. So if I go boom. Hmm. I think maybe they do stack. Because I seem to be losing more than a single heart a lot of the time. My sound's too loud. Yeah, that's weird. Um, yeah, maybe they do. It's hard to tell. Game mode. One. Try once more. Um. Go. Weather. Right. So that's one heart, half heart, whole heart, heart. Yeah, I think they stack because hmm, they it seemed to be a less regular like damage. It was like it was sort of in uneven increments, and normally it's like um, one poison damage every couple of ticks, whereas that was like one poison damage couple of ticks, one poison damage, followed by a second one, and then a couple of ticks gap, and another one, and then like, it's just completely random, so it's probably um, both poisons acting at once. I'll just give you like, an example of what I mean. So if I attack this guy, he poisons me half a heart like every, every tick or something. And that's not too much damage. Whereas if this guy poisons me, it's like a heart. It's like the exact same poison. Does the exact same like damage and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So I think they do both act at the same time. Right, let's kill you off. And here's some things I've done. These are spawners, obviously. This one spawns a zombie. Well, I'll show you. So this one spawns a flaming zombie. That's invisible with this armor on. This one spawns a flaming skeleton with an enchanted bow. This one spawns a wither skeleton in gold armor. And the point in these is that because they're on fire, they ha have um, flame enchanted weapons. So all their attacks are going to set you on fire. And also, all their weapons have knockback on them. So, you're, in other words, you're going to be taking a lot of damage and getting very pissed off by these. I'll just show you. See? That was a lot of knockback. Anyway, um... Oh, and these guys. They're just the purple version. Hmm... So yeah, that's a little bit of testing with the Wither Skeleton. Um, like I said in the last video, they will only naturally spawn 
in the actual nether, they will not spawn in an MC edited nether biome, which I found quite interesting. And yeah, they're kind of they're obviously meant to be quite rare, so that's why they only spawn in like one place. Um, but if you put a skeleton spawner inside the nether, it will spawn with the skeletons like 95% of the time. Uh, it's just something you have to be careful of if you're making a map in the nether. If you want to get around that, what you do is you either make your spawner through an external program, which will guarantee it's a skeleton spawner, or you first of all you spawn a skeleton in the part of the map that you want the skeleton spawner, and then use Cespling's spawner filter, create spawners, to turn it into a um, turn it into a a mob spawner, and that will create guaranteed 100% chance skeleton spawner because it's the data that's associated with it is the skeleton data rather than the wither skeleton data or like the generic skeleton which would spawn this anyway hope you enjoyed it these these flaming zombies and skeletons are the final enemies that you'll fight in my custom map so they are designed to be quite tough um, and you can see here they say forge zombie, forge skeleton, forge with the skeleton. And the reason why is because the final area is called Assault on Black Rock Forge. Um, which is, well it's just a forge, like, you know, like, uh, to make weapons and stuff. Um, and, well, you'll probably see in, in my videos. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learnt something about wither skeletons and uh, how to not spawn wither skeletons when you don't want to. And yeah, as always, I'd appreciate a like, and if you're not subscribed already, that would really help me out. Thanks for watching, and bye!